515 new this morning. It is no secret. Red tide has been plaguing Tampa Bay for weeks now, and we continue to see millions of dead fish piling up on our beaches. We wanted to know what solutions there are to prevent another red tide crisis. Aid on your side, Amanda Holly spoke with a local nonprofit working on natural ways to clean our waters. Limiting excess nutrients from getting into the bay is the best way to prevent a widespread outbreak like this from happening in the first place. Luckily, Mother Nature has a backup plan. What we're looking to do here on the west coast of Florida is really implement a lot of oyster restoration and mangrove restoration techniques. Oyster beds and mangrove roots are natural water treatment plants. Shelby Thomas with the Ocean Rescue Alliance is working to filter our waters both before and during a bloom just like the one we're seeing now. Oysters are a really good biological source of filtration. They filter all types of algae that they feed on and of course yes toxins can accumulate. Filtering up to 50 gallons per day each oyster consumes the harmful nutrients that the algae used to grow. They eat the algae itself and filter out the brevitoxins that kill the fish and other marine animals. Mangrove roots absorb pollutants from our waterways as well. Scientists at Moat Marine are also working on techniques to help an ongoing red tide bloom. Clay flocking is essentially where they've been disseminating clay particulates into the water to help really settle down the algae cells so it'll accumulate at the sediment. With either solution, protecting the environment is key. We need to be not just reactive to this. We need to be proactive and preventative. So the more things that we can do to implement really restoration and, and preventing some of these things and then addressing them when they happen immediately is, is really critical. Again, a single oyster can filter up to 50 gallons of water per day, making them a vital part of keeping our Tampa Bay waters clean. The Ocean Rescue Alliance has approval from the FWC and Army Corps of Engineers to start planting structures for oyster colonies in Hernando County. They plan to seek approval for both Hillsborough and Pinellas as well. Amanda Holly, 8 on your side.